uh, it was a barn burner and a hair razor and a hair pull out to watch. How was it to coach a game like that tonight? <laughs> oh, you know, calm on the outside, not so calm on the inside, you know, <laughs> one of those. Yeah. To win a game like this, what does it say to you about your team at this point to be able to pull a game like this on the road in Seattle? Wow, well, I mean, just in general, Seattle, you know, 91 points a game and making nine threes a game. I thought our defensive game plan was really good. I thought we really stuck to the details of it. I thought, once again, Tiffany Hayes was unbelievable defensively on Jewel Lloyd. Um, and then, you know, to top it off, I mean, I, I just, you know, Breland did such a good job on Stewie uh, early and late. Um, so, you know, and I know people, people are going to argue that maybe, you know, they're they, they called some tough fouls on Stewart, but you know Jessica Breland doesn't slot, you know, so she's not someone that you're used to seeing like bounce all bounce all around. And if you know you get a forearm in the chest um, and you're displaced, that's a charge. So you know ultimately we had more fouls than they did. So I, I think that's hard to argue. Right. Um, you just don't like it. You don't like it when it's on your <laughs> you know your best front court player, obviously when you're an opposing coach. One of the things that has been apparent with this team is uh, your offense may not be where it won't, but your defense has been outstanding at times. You're very, very athletic, very long, and very it just looks very good on defense. Yeah, there's no doubt that we're ahead uh, defensively than we are offensively. I mean, I think we, we, we got really good shots in this game, you know, and we missed some open ones. I mean, I, th- I think Angel had about four shots you know, late in the fourth quarter that I just thought we're going to go in. Yeah. Um, you know, Tiffany obviously made some huge baskets getting to the rim. Um, and and Dantas, once again, you know, made made some 15-footers and, and uh, did a good job for us, you know, scoring off the bench. So, you know, we got good play all the way around. Obviously, we didn't go very deep into our bench tonight. Um, but I think you've got to steal one when you can, you know, and you just say, hey, then now we're playing on house money in the next game. Yeah, and, and speaking of that, Coach, you didn't go deep in your bench, but Dantas and Laser played great tonight coming off the bench, giving you some quality minutes. What do you have to say about those players for you tonight coming off the bench? Yeah, played really well. You know, Laser came in and scored early, um, you know, played alongside Renee. I think it's actually pretty comfortable playing off the ball uh, at times. And so, you know, we haven't done that in a while. Um, but with, you know, Brittany Sykes not being able to go. Right. Put us in a position where, where, where our rotation had to be a little bit different. And, you know, I thought those guys all played a lot of minutes and really battled. You know, it was what I was most concerned about late. You just hope the adrenaline's going late, you know, and especially with Hayes getting kind of beat up at times. Right. Um, you know, I had to sub her out of the game a couple times just because – she just needed a blow, you know. She'd take a hit or bounce off the standard, and and so you know, I, I thought we got great play from Lasia. I thought she pushed tempo. You know, I, I thought she was physical and gives us a second person that could, you know, in a pinch defend Lloyd. Um, and then you know, Dee Dee um, really just made shots again. You know, hit a big three. Uh, Elizabeth had a, Williams had a nice pass to her. Yeah. You know, for like a fifteen foot short corner jumper, like. He made some really big baskets for us, and and other than missing that very last free throw, which I gave her a hard time about, like <laughs> she made a sweat, she made a sweat out that last possession because if it's a four point game, yeah. you know you're you're just not nearly as worried as right. when it's a three. But right. but once again, I think our defense, you know, when you have um, those late possessions and you have multiple players with length and athleticism, in fact, you know, the last possession was a testament to that because I literally said. We got to get a tip on this play. You guys, we got to get a tip on this play. And sure enough, you know, we did. We did a good job switching out and getting a tip on the play so that they couldn't get a shot up. Coach, with these wins, these close wins, can you feel the team trusting each other more with these tight, with these these close wins? Oh, I don't think there's any question. Um, you know, I think um, you know our first year in the league in Connecticut. We just really struggled to finish out games. We were in a lot of close games. We lost overtime games. We lost triple overtime games. Right. You know, but it, it really helped. It, it helps to have. It helps to have a Hayes and a McCautry late because you you have two options and you go one way or the other um, in pretty much every situation. Um, and you know, but even having two of them, then the other team can't key in. 
and you can see that that they bounce. You know, they clearly consider Alicia Clark an elite defender, and you know, so she started the game guarding Angel and finished the game guarding Hayes. Right. You know, because they just they just you know didn't quite have an answer um, for her, and so you know when Tiffany Hayes gets downhill, you know, I, I just I thought there were times when it could have been three point plays um, because there's no doubt she was going up through arms to finish those plays late. So, yeah, I think they trust each other. I know that there's there's a true camaraderie of, of hey, you know, if we're going to sub offense and defense late, I'm going to sub, you know, Lays in there for defense. She takes it seriously. You know, Elizabeth didn't have her best game offensively today, but, you know, was, like, ready to, to make a play on the defensive end and to grab a rebound and do the little things. So right. they're definitely about team. They're definitely, definitely about team. And I, I, I keep going back to this number. Angel had a double double tonight. You talked about it last time, or last we talked, about her being able to help out on the boards. I mean, just seeing things like that and tip with another twenty point game, your two wings and your two big players seem to come up and big on this west on this swing right now. Well, they're both really good. I mean, it's just it's that simple. And um, you know, I think when I just you know I, I just don't think you can. Um, discount the his defensive effort. You know, when you look at Jewel Lloyd, who's been playing as well as any two guard in this league, right, and what right. Tiffany's been able, what Tiffany's been able to do defensively, and then still have the energy. There are times when she just stays sitting in the huddle, even when we're done, to catch that extra twenty minutes, twenty seconds, you know, of, of break. You know, because she has to exert so much um, defensively, and then to make the plays that she makes late. Um, are that much more impressive. You know, once again with Angel, you know, sort of like be a big helper as much as I, I have like a ton of respect for Alicia Clark. Right. Um, you know, I think she's there. She's oftentimes their fifth option offensively. And so, you know, getting on the glass and being, you know, there to, to make shots tougher in the lane when Stewie's driving or when Howard's driving, you know, and I, so that, that keeps her near the rim and, and she's, She's clearly someone that's stronger than her frame. So when she goes up in the crowd, she's more than capable of pulling a rebound. Uh, last couple of questions, Coach. Uh, what's the update on Sykes? How long? Or is it? Is it? What's the? Um... Yeah, she's she's day to day. You know, she's in a boot, but she's starting to um, at least be able to walk in the boot a little bit. Okay. Um, as opposed to crutching it, but you know, I, I wouldn't expect to see her in two days. You know, I think she's made progress. I think our trainer and Team Doc have been um, happy that, you know, each day she's a little better um, okay. and has made progress throughout the day. And, you know, being here with us on the road, she's able to rehab multiple times a day. And so, right. you know, we're just – it'll be day-to-day with her. Um, but, you know, there's no – at this point, there's no time frame. It's not one of those injuries you go, okay, well, it's definitely three weeks or it's um, – I'm not sure it's three days, but, you know, hopefully she continues to make progress and – um, you know, we're, we're kind of listing it as a foot sprain right now and, um, you know, just kind of dealing with the pain. And the last one, uh, we know the game in a couple of days is in L.A. How long do you use, uh, move on from tonight's great victory before you get ready for L.A.? Oh, man, I wish I could say I get to enjoy it, but um, <laughs> it's just not how I work. You know, I, I, I wish, you know, everyone keeps telling me, like, go out to eat, take a break, enjoy it, you know, um, definitely understand how good LA is. It's been my scout in this league both both years in Connecticut and you know, just a ton of respect for their, their individual talent as well as, you know, how hard they play. And so they had a big bounce back win today after, you know, really just not looking like an LA team that I'm used to seeing right. um, when Seattle went in and kind of dismantled them the other night. Like that's, those games happen in this league and, and they don't happen very often to LA, but you know, I mean, believe me, I'm enjoying the fact that we won. That was a huge road win. I think right. anytime you steal a game on the road, and as well as Seattle's playing, like I'm one proud coach right now. There's no doubt about it. But you know, it just it doesn't get any easier. So you turn around and you, right. um, you know, we'll, we really will not even get out on a court tomorrow. Um, you know, we will we'll make sure we're using our Norma text and. And when we get to the hotel in, in L.A., we'll do a film and a walkthrough, you know, in the meeting room. And, uh, you know, we'll, we'll be able to do kind of another um, shoot around on game day. But, uh, you know, we'll keep them off their legs as much as we can and, you know, really, really get them to think. And I think the one thing this team is starting to do is really trust our game plans. Right. So, 
you know, certainly you're playing with house money. Um, third straight road game, you know, another team in the top half of the league. Um, and you just go in and you, you try to spoil it. Oh, Coach, that, that one, one more thing. I got to give you so much props on that play with Tip. Um, <laughs> that, that play was awesome to see, Coach. I mean, it just – I mean, was that an uh, in-the-moment type move? Uh, the move. I mean, it was just wide open, great move to the uh, goal. I was, I was really, uh, yeah, I mean, I'd love, I'd love to chalk that up to genius <laughs> status in some way, you know, but it's just, you know, honestly, we run that curl cut a whole lot in a lot of our sets. I just, you know, I had simply told um, Hayes that that was our first look, you know, that it, it was a cut to score. Um, and that if it wasn't there, we were going to run, you know, a different action and bring her back off a ball screen. But I told her, first and foremost, you're looking for the baseline. And because that, that um, you know, line was a little higher, you know, we really felt like, you know, we had a chance to open up the court there because, the, you know, when we called the timeout, it was just a little higher. So, I mean, it's not, it's not something crazy that I, you know, manufactured in my brain. It's kind of part of our playbook. It just was a little bit different angle. And, right. you know, she just made a really hard cut, and Angel hit her in stride. You yeah. know, Angel really made a good pass to her. Yeah. Well, congratulations, Coach. A great win. Uh, thanks for taking the time, and I uh, can't wait till the next one. Let's see if we can get three or three. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, Coach. All right. Bye-bye.